So let me show you a quick little demo. Um, I actually have a parallel link application. If I can find Visual Studio up on my desktop, I know it's here somewhere. There we go. So uh, this little demo is great. Let me, uh, let me first run it for you and show you what it does. We call this demo Shakespeare Monkeys. Um, over on the right-hand side, you see a quote from Shakespeare. On the left, what we're going to use is we're going to actually use a genetic algorithm to mate monkeys until we can create a line of monkeys that are capable of typing at least this small work of Shakespeare. Um, and so it's kind of irreverent, but on the other hand, it's kind of using some interesting stuff. We're using a genetic algorithm to take, uh, in this case, the genome is this string. So we're trying to find, okay, the closest to the genome that I like, and I'll find another one, then we'll mate those together, we'll get some, uh, maybe some mutations along the process, that's accounted for in the algorithm. We'll use link queries to select these things out, and then, you know, we'll see what we end up with. So let me just, uh, let me run this, and you can kind of see how it works. So here you see on the left, we see each of the children that gets uh, spawned as a result of this program. You can kind of see they're getting a little bit closer to writing the works of Shakespeare. If we were to put a, put a clock on this, we'll see that we're getting about 27, 28 generations of monkeys every second, and we're getting ever closer to being able to type the works of Shakespeare. So it actually doesn't take infinite monkeys and infinite typewriters. It just takes a good uh, parallel computing application. All right, so after, you know, 800 and something uh, generations, we've gotten okay, I guess. Um, so let's look at the source code here. So this is really, this is the source code is the, is the key piece here. And again, this is a link query. So I've got, uh, I'm selecting a range of parents here, and I'm taking two of my highest quality parents, the ones that type the closest thing to Shakespeare, and then I create a child from those by combining their genes and then doing a little mutation. And then I select that out to an array, and that's what you see on the screen. So if I want to make this parallel, uh, pretty straightforward, all I need to do is I take this link query, and instead I use a, instead of an enumerable, I use a parallel enumerable. And that's it. And using a parallel enumerable brings all of those uh, parallel link queries to, to bear and enables me to leverage resource usage across all the cores on my machine. So just to see, I think we got a little less than 30 in terms of, uh, in terms of generations per second. Um, I'm gonna turn on the parallel. I like to do one other thing. Um, I find mood music really helps the monkeys. Yeah, so now we're getting about 70, 80 uh, generations per second. The monkeys are feeling it. Um, we're getting closer, much more quick. I think you get the idea. Wait for it. Okay. Thank you. Match your rod. So you can see just by bringing all the cores to bear on this problem, I'm able to, to get to a solution really, really quickly. And, I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not a parallel plumber. I'm just expressing my problem in a way that's really, really natural for me. 